Good morning, folks. This is Diamond from the Oppenheimer Ranch Project. It's Wednesday, October 18th, 2017 at 11 a.m. Mountain Time. And what you're looking at is a powerful double CME. Here's the initial pulse. Second, boom, boom. And we'll come look at it at Alaska C3. We'll come back to this. Okay, X-ray flux uh, is showing it as a small B surge. This is a, a filament that probably erupted off the far, that did erupt off the far side, and it is registering here on this side. So that's what that blip is there, and it has a strength longevity here. If we're looking at it, it's still not down to original A range of over 12 hours. So this is 12 hours of energy that just shot off the back side of the sun into space. Why is this important for us? Two reasons. The first reason is that whatever region that this came from is turning around the limb and will be facing us for the next two weeks. That's a heads up there. So let's go to Soho and look at Lasco C3. What we have here, uh, you can see the amount of energy is massive there at the very end. We're just getting in the data currently. So this is uh, we're going to have a little bit more of this energy path as the day progresses. Here you can see on Lasco C2, the video actually just stopped short of the full eruption. And what I'm getting uh, from other sources is that this is probably a massive filament eruption. Because if you look at the back side of the sun currently, the sunspot... 2681 is the only one that it could have come from. So if it came from a sunspot, it came from 2681, which is on its way around. Otherwise, it was a filament that uh, kept, we don't have enough data to really pinpoint it. Why, why is it important? Guys, if you know about Comet C2017 K2 Pan Stars, this is the furthest um, comet the ever become active, ever witnessed, ever observed. Now, the reason this became electrified is this is an electric comet. Its electric potential is perfect to form plasma tails and to glow, to go into the glow mode uh, relative to our solar system. And when the sun shot out several X flares of energy a month ago, it started to glow and it hit the news. It made history on June 26th. I'm going to suggest that this CME energy, because in the three-dimensional analysis of how it erupted here, that it is going to go up north here, the planet ecliptic, towards that comet, this energy. <coughs> Let's go to this. Up. So, we're going to be watching Comet C2017 K2 Pan Stars to re electrify, to re illuminate in about 10 days. That is my prediction that this comet will have another pulse of energy and will hit the news. That'll be like, it's so unusual. We have no idea why this comet is lighting up out here by Uranus. Idiots. So, electric comet K2 Pan Stars to have a little bit of flurry of activity in 10 days because of what just happened on our sun off the back side. And there's a heads up that this sunspot region or whatever area caused this massive CME to erupt this much material off the back side of the sun is turning around to face us shortly. Guys, I hope you got something out of the video. If you have any questions, leave it in the leave it under the video below the description box and uh we're going to be watching this. Have a great day. Be safe.